Hello everybody and welcome to T-Studio Demos. Today I'll be demonstrating how to draw a pitch of plane, which helps describe one of the basic rules of perspective. Make sure to have all supplies ready before you begin. Today I'm using paper, a sharpened red pencil, a graphite pencil, eraser, a ruler, and a set of drafting triangles. Now, a quick reminder about the three basic rules of perspective drawing. Number one, as objects move away from us, they appear smaller than they actually are. We call this diminution. Number two, parallel lines that move away from us appear to come together at a point on the horizon which we call the vanishing point. This is convergence. And number three, the space between objects appears smaller and smaller as objects move away from us in space. This is called foreshortening. Today's drawing, Pitch of Plane, highlights that third rule. However, all perspective rules will be utilized. A few important points as we begin. My paper is oriented in landscape format. My pencils are all nice and sharp, which helps with accuracy and maintaining a clean drawing. I will also draw lightly, just in case I need to erase any mistakes. I will also make all construction lines in red and object lines in graphite. As with all perspective drawings, we first need to establish the horizon line and vanishing point. So, using your ruler and the sharp red pencil, draw a horizontal line across your paper. Make sure it is parallel to the top and bottom of your page and label it HL. Since we are working in one-point perspective, we will locate a point on the horizon line directly in the center of the paper. Remember, all diagonal lines that will represent depth will converge to this point. Mark that point VP. I also mark it CV to remind myself that it is our center of vision or the direction the viewer is looking. Next, I'm drawing a vertical line from the top to the bottom of the page that intersects the horizon line at the vanishing point. This is the line of sight. I will also place on this line, below the horizon line, a point called the station point. It represents where the viewer is standing in relationship to the scene. If we were drawing in three dimensions, it would reside on the Z axis, but since we are working in a two-dimensional space, our sheet of paper then we swing that station point down to the y-axis. From the station point, I draw two lines at a 45 degree angle from the line of sight and intersect the horizon line. Where they touch the horizon line, we mark two points. These are called measuring points. One right measuring point and one left. It's a good idea to label those RMP and LMP so we don't get confused later in the drawing. We are now ready to draw a square in perspective that represents the flat plane receding in space. I will start with the front edge of this square and it will be straddling the line of sight, but you could locate this line anywhere in your drawing. From the left and right ends of this first line that I draw, I will draw orthogonal lines to the vanishing point. Now, from the right front corner, I will draw a line to the left measuring point. A little explanation here. Just like carpenters check the square of their constructions by measuring the diagonals on the square, we do the same. This technique will give us that back left corner of our square, the point where this measuring line intersects our left orthogonal is where we draw the back edge. 
So now I have a square plane in one point perspective. Let's see what happens when I repeat this process. I'll construct this plane closer to the horizon line. I will follow all of the steps that I did previously. When I am finished, I want you to notice the difference between the two planes. Do you notice the difference? We see less of the top plane than the bottom one. The pitch of the plane has increased as we get closer to the horizon line. It reflects a foreshortened view of that plane. Here I am just drawing the object lines with graphite to help them stand out against all my red construction lines. If I draw yet another plane, even closer to the horizon line, the pitch will increase even more and we will see less of the top. Incidentally, if the plane sat directly on the horizon line, we would no longer see a plane. We would only see a straight line. Thanks for watching, and please check back for additional step-by-step -step demonstration videos.